Hey guys, what is up? This is James and welcome to another Adobe Premiere Pro video. Today we're going to talk about the new features that Adobe has introduced on 19th January 2024. So let's talk about it. Most of the features are related to audio, but I think you'll like that features. The features is not available on the public release. You need to install Adobe Premiere Pro Vita in order to use the features. So how you can use Adobe Premiere Pro Vita, you need to go to Adobe Creative Cloud application. And from here, you have to go to Apps section. Just scroll down there. You'll see beta apps. Click here and there you will see the beta application. Just click on install. It will install that application. So I have already installed Adobe Premiere Pro Beta. Now let's talk about what is the new features right so let's go to adobe premiere pro beta so the first one is audio handle so if you are using adobe auditions to edit your audio you already know how you can use the handles to fade the audio fade in or fade out or cross fade and that features also introduced in adobe premiere pro if i zoom into the section and make the audio clip a little bit bigger you can see there are two different sections right so here is a handle if i click and drag this section it will make a curve here now i can fade out this audio and if i go to up it will change the curve if i go to down it will change the curve again so if i just keep it here it will make the curve a lot linear so if i play it back and just let me increase the duration a little bit you can see it has made the fade out a little bit linear right if you want to have a lot aggressive fade out then you can just keep it here then play it back you can see right and also you can fade out your audio using this feature so here if i just click and drag this section i can make a fade out so let's fade out this audio and play back the audio from here a lot better right also you can use this feature to make a crossfade so suppose i want to blend these two music together how you can do that i can just click and drag this section in order to make a crossfade normally we go here to make a fade out or fade in but in order to make a crossfade you need to cross this section over to this audio now you can change this section up and down to make your curve let me play it back very easily you can make crossfade or fade in fade out in adobe premiere pro using this handle feature before talking about the second feature let me introduce with you to this video sponsor which is fit.io i really love this application this is a online based video editing application and it is pretty powerful you can do complex video editing using fit.io and the implementation of ai has made fit.io an exceptional video editing application i really like the eye contact feature captioning feature automatic transcribing and translating your subtitles to another language and removing the background feature a lot even you'll get different transition text effects filter elements and music whatnot if you want to learn more about fit.io you can comment me in the description so that i can make a dedicated video on it and the interesting fact is fit.io is free to try application so you can freely start fit.io if you like that application you can purchase their subscription and the good news is there is a promotion going on if you want to get 30 percent discount on their annual pro or business plan you can click on the first link in the description below everyone who sign up for their annual pro or business plan will get a private email on their email account in the first week of february well let's get back to adobe premiere pro the second feature is speech enhanced feature adobe is working with this technology for a long time you can use this feature on their website too and they have also include that feature in adobe premiere pro now the feature is much polished so here is the audio clip if i play it back hey guys this is james and welcome to a new adobe premiere pro tutorial today we're you can hear a lot of background noise so you can easily use this audio clip using the speech enhanced feature it will make this audio a lot better right select the audio clip go to window then go to essential sound panel and here just click on dialog or you can just click on auto tag i'll just click dialog and here you'll see there is an option called enhance speech feature right so if i click here adobe will automatically enhance this audio clip it will take some times when you are using it for the first time but after that it will work flawlessly so just increase the volume a little bit if i go here and then i can increase the volume maybe 4 or 5 db then if i play it back hey guys it's james and welcome to a new adobe premiere pro tutorial today we're going to a lot lot better 
let me show you the v4 this is the v4 hey guys this is james and welcome to a new adobe premiere pro tutorial and now this is the after hey guys this is james and welcome to a new adobe premiere pro tutorial today we're going to test out the new now let's talk about the third one which is ai power tagging feature so if i go here on this project there are a lot more audio clip here i can just make it a little bit smaller so that we can see all the audio track right so this is our timeline right now you can see there are lots of icons here this is one this is another adobe premiere pro will automatically detect the audio clips that you have used and it will tag accordingly right and if it doesn't tag the audio clip automatically you can just select any audio clip that you want then you can click auto tag it will automatically tag that audio clip and it will change that icon right here you can see there is an icon which means this is a sound effect it has automatically tag this sound so what is the benefit using this tagging feature and what is the benefit of this icon right suppose i am working on this clip and i am just changing the color and suddenly i have uh, remembered that i need to increase the volume or i need to change something on my audio clip what i can do i can just click here on this icon section it will automatically take me in the essential sound panel and here i can change whatever i want right so if you want to change here on this music clip just click here automatically tagging so it will tag this as a music clip now if i click here it is taking me on the essential sound whenever whatever if i just close this panel and then if i click here you can see it is automatically opening this panel now you can easily work on your audio clip and it will make your working process a lot faster now the last one is clip color and waveform design right so here you can see on our timeline there are a lot of audio clips so whenever you are working on a project you need to change the timeline right if you want to just make it a little bit smaller you can do it just like that now adobe premiere pro has made this waveform design a little bit adaptive so whenever you are making this section smaller it is making the audio clip smaller but still you can see the waveform you can edit the audio using this waveform it is adapting the waveform size according to your timeline track size so that is the great feature we don't need to make it bigger again and again to see the exact thing whatever we want to see you can just work making this section a little bit smaller still you can see the waveform design so here you can see two different track if i make it a little bit smaller it will adapt this track to a single track right so whenever you are making it a little bit bigger it is making two different track and it is showing the exact waveform again if you make it smaller it will make a single track so that you can see the audio clip clearly again here if i make it a little bit bigger you can see the waveform is changing its shape i really like this feature and also you can change the level color whatever you want there are a lot of level color that has introduced and i believe that was present on their previous iteration i don't know why they mentioned it so that's all for today i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video and learned something new from this one you can give me a thumbs up and if you need this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro you can subscribe to this channel to get more awesome videos just like this one by the way let me know in the comment section below if you really want to know how you can edit your video using vid.io web-based video editing software i'll make a separate video on it so that's all for today catch you guys on the next video until then goodbye